Yes. Is this a recording? Hello my friend, this is Bayan with Bayan Hello and uh, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to prevent some moisture from coming up from the concrete floor. Like you guys can see here, dark part, this is moisture. You guys can see it's a uh, kind of moist. This is where the foundation was and looks to be that there is a crack where the foundation meet the floor so you guys can see you can see the knife going in there now what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna break this part until the i reach the bottom and then i'm gonna seal it with some uh, fast set cement and then i'm gonna else i'm gonna seal it with red guard and then i'm gonna put a finish coat on top so i done this on the past and was 100 percent no moisture coming up I believe this the thing with the moisture in here because uh, we didn't work on the exterior of the house and for sure the drain tiles need some work but we're not gonna work on, on it right away. We are here on the half du duplex handle. Yeah, like the drain tiles I'm sure is an old one and it's not very good lot of tree around. This is something that we're gonna do for now that way we can finish on the inside and then when the weather is a little bit better we move to do some work on the exterior. Alright, so this one is here. I didn't break it yet. I can show you guys next one that I had a little bit issue in here. Yeah, like uh, maybe that one is a little bit hard for you guys to see, but you can see in here, see? Around the pipe in here, we just have a little bit moisture coming up right there. So we're just gonna break this. You guys can see there where the dark is. That is moisture. So we're gonna just break the top and seal it. Let's work for you guys to see. This one I just broke a little bit. Like you guys can see, I'm going down there. This is already the gravel. Is what it is. So I'm gonna show you guys how to load this guys up with some uh, what, some product. Like this is a fast set cement. This set very fast, just a couple minutes is what we're gonna use. Then once it is dry, we're just gonna use some red guard and then about this high on a finish, like about inch and a, inch and a quarter, something like that to finish cement on top of it. So I'm gonna be sealed. Like uh, you guys can look in this one in here. I had a lot of moisture coming out in here. I use a little bit of this uh, cement in here the other day and like you guys can see no moisture coming up already so but we're gonna do a bit more I just put a little bit for the video but we're gonna fill this a uh, little bit about there leaving just about one inch and a quarter for the finish layer and, and the red guard all right let's let's work Hello guys, here I'm just use a Bosch hammer drill to, to break this uh, concrete, it's just a small job, so this one will do it. I can show you guys here, that way you guys see how the moisture comes up, like you guys can see the crack right there. Yes, I'm just break the concrete, that way I have enough depth in here to seal it, once I break it and make enough space. I have place to put my ceiling compound in there. Here you guys can see, I'm gonna break some more. You can see the gap there, this is the foundation, this is the slab. So you guys can see the space where the moisture is just coming up. Here guys, uh, you guys can see where the moisture comes up. This is a gap between the slab and the foundation, so the moisture just come up. This is the old floor on this part here. There's no vapor bear underneath it. The moisture just pop up whenever it's a gap. Uh, I believe once we have the drain tile, this, the water just gonna run away from the house. Like you guys can see, look. And I show you another thing, like maybe it's hard to see, but you can see the drill bit is uh, wet. You can see the moisture in there. I'm gonna break a little bit more. Maybe you can see even some water in there. I got to bring the other drill. To break the drill is to make a hole, right? Wet, huh? Yeah. Yes, guys, if you don't have the drill, 
At two and a half we do the job, just we take a little bit longer, but it works, okay? Okay, let's get this thing done, man. Yeah, I just try to clean up. No much moisture on this side, but I just want to make sure this is gonna be sealed. So I just broke a little bit of extra in here. That way I would have all this filling with a new, new coat of cement and seal all this area. This is what is it for. Next, we're just gonna prime with some glue. We're gonna use this stuff to prime to help it hold better. And then we're just gonna put some fast set cement. Yeah, we're just gonna vacuum, make sure it's, uh, it is nice and clean. No dust, no debris in here. Uh, this cement will hold better to the old cement. And then we make sure that it have a good seal in there. Additive with water, like 50-50. Go from there. I just use a brush, this is a small area. If you're doing a bigger area, you just can use a, a broom or something like that. Or a roller. We vacuum this real good, like you guys can see. Just remove the dust. We're just gonna apply it in there. It's gonna help to hold the new to the old concrete. Yes, my intention here is just to put one layer to seal it. I'm just gonna put out to there the water stop concrete. Then we're gonna do red guard. Then we do a skin coat with the regular cement. Okay guys, like you guys can see here, this is weak. the reason that it's very liquid because I just want this stuff to go in and seal all the gaps. This is a fast set, give a few minutes, we just start to set, so I have it mixed. All I do, I just gonna dump it in there. Make sure it's gonna be nice and tight in there and let it seal. It's crazy. That's the one I do the same way. Just make sure it's all in there. Nice on the crack. And then we're gonna use the red guard to make sure it is good. I gotta mix a little bit more for this one. Hello my friend, very much we already finished the patch, we didn't have the camera with us to show the whole process, but I will explain where we left off on the video. We left off on the part that where we put the first layer of concrete, cement to seal it, and then after that we waited to dry, a couple of days to dry very good and put some heat on. Once it was very dry, we used the, a red guard to seal it, a red guard waterproof compound. After the red guard was dry, take about one day to dry very good. After that, we just uh, put the the top layer of us concrete cement, right? Now, like you guys can see, drying up. This was done a, a day ago and is solved already. And you can see the moisture is just don't see the moisture anymore. Yeah, the cement is still wet, it's still fresh, but uh, like you can see around it, part that are dry, you can see it's uh, brown, no moisture. This process work very good. I done it quite a few times and I never had plug again. Yeah, so we didn't show you guys how the whole process how to use the red guard. No, we're just gonna I gonna sh do a sample here. It's very simple like uh, like here gonna be tired so we already have some red guard in here so all we want to do is pretty much you just brush it on or roll it on. This one here, when we did it, we just roll it on, but you can go with the brush. When I use the cement, I use the paint brush because it was just not very straight in the small area. I could not use the roll. This, I use two coats of red guard in there just to make sure it is forever sealed. Once you use this guys on the concrete, I, I, the good thing about you is to do two coats because some areas maybe doesn't look, doesn't cover very good. So just if you do two coats, you make sure that it is all covered and all sealed, continuous sealed out uh, and water penetration. Yes, yeah, so once we break the concrete like we did in here, we have a lot of bump and holes, so we just make sure with the, with the brush, paint brush, you just make sure that 
the red guard go on those hole and get them sealed very nice all the time make sure that is nice clean the way the dust would prevent it from holding good for this patch i just use for the top layer i use sand building sand portland cement them up about uh, one of cement and three of sand very much it just makes it good run with the trowel we're just gonna make a summary in here so for this repair we just did one layer with uh, aqua cement water seal and then we did one uh, red guard and then we did the top layer with uh, cement portland cement layers this is make sure it dry between the layers and uh, this worked very good like i said done this on the past and it's 100 percent moisture tight and uh, my friends thank you for your help thank you for your support and I love you guys. Thank you for subscribing. See you soon.